In the dead of night, a woman needs help. Here's her ID, Jerica. Jerica. Jerica LaCour sits in a parking lot. She by herself? Alone, confused, and despondent. Medical's coming, they're right up here. Minutes pass, her mental state worsens. A medic assumes he knows what's happening. Oh. Guess who gets ketamine? Yeah, oh. seriously. No. That flippant observation is the direct result of an assumption. Jerica, according to this report, is suffering from something known as excited delirium. Five years later, Jerica's husband still can't tell you what that means. No. Do you know what it is? No, I have no idea. He's hardly alone. Few people can agree on what it actually is. No major medical organization recognizes it. And yet suspicion of excited delirium prompted a medic to give Jerica LaCour a sedative that this autopsy says contributed to the death of the mother of five. And I have to look at them every day, every day. And I could see the different pains on their face, like, Dad, what do we do? We don't have a mom. I said, Daddy got you. Hey, stop right there. Stop. Stop. A year after the death of LaCour, stop. a similar story played out in Aurora with Elijah McLean. Now let go of me. Suspected excited delirium, injection of ketamine. Is it hard to watch that video? Yeah. It, it was hard. Dr. Jamira Jones, board certified in emergency medicine. I wasn't trying to do that. Watched this and decided she needed to do something. It could have been avoided and he could still be here. That's what sits with me most. And so she volunteered to help the state's health department better understand that term, excited delirium, a term our investigation has now linked to at least 150 deaths in the U.S. since 2010. What did you know about excited delirium before all this? Honestly, not much. Excited delirium, a condition marked by excessive agitation and occasional sudden death. This Colorado report, which Dr. Jones helped craft, determined it also lacks a uniform definition, underlying scientific evidence, and a clear understanding of its causes. Dr. Jones now calls it nonsense. It's amazing how that word continues on when there's no objective evidence behind it. And so in late 2021, her team notified the Colorado Department of Public Health and the state of Colorado to stop using ketamine on suspected cases and to reject the term outright. Is it time to retire the use of excited delirium? I would, I would strongly agree with that statement, yeah. It's just junk. It's junk science, and we shouldn't be relying on that. State Representative Judy Amabile thought all was well until we told her something she wasn't expecting, something that caused her to say this. I think bullshit. <laughs> but I wasn't paying attention to that up until now. Two years after a state report rejected the term, we found every person wanting to become a law enforcement officer in Colorado must still undergo training on excited delirium. They should get that out of the curriculum and they should do that sooner than later. Colorado's Peace Officer Standards and Training Board, or POST, mandates every officer must be trained on something representative Amable calls bullshit. The training for excited delirium is about restraining them. And a lot of times restraining somebody is the exact opposite of what you should be doing if you're trying to diffuse the situation, if you're trying to calm things down. The restraint is what it seems like leads to death. She's now calling on the state attorney general to change this. Are you asking them to do that? I am asking them to do that. Our investigation found law enforcement agencies all over the Front Range continue to train on excited delirium. Well, County inexplicably called it the freight train of death. 29 agencies responded to our records request. Only three told us their policy manuals don't include the words excited delirium. But I think when you have institutionalized uh, a term like excited delirium, it's hard to take that out of our vernacular and move in a different direction. Wheat Ridge Police Chief Chris Murtha thinks it's time to finally move in that different direction. Uh, I certainly wouldn't lose any sleep if that, that term was disappeared from, from our vernacular. He tells his officers never to conclude what they're witnessing is excited delirium, saying it can mirror other problems they might miss or cause them to make mistakes. To train on something that's not settled in my mind is difficult. 
he may soon get his wish. Post board members are expected to debate the requirement as soon as the end of this week. Chris Vanderveen, Nine News. The Post Board, responsible for training and policy, is made up of both law enforcement and citizens from around the state. And the chair of that board is Democratic Attorney General Phil Weiser. His office says Weiser wants the entire board to have a say on where this goes from here.